welcome in person or online to Trinity Episcopal Church on this third Sunday after Pentecost. Um, the Romans across the street call this stretch of year ordinary time. I'm not quite sure anything really counts as ordinary anymore, but um, we do have uh, morning prayer the next couple of weeks. I think our next, well, our next Mass is either the 10th or the 17th. 17th, which means probably that will be a regularly scheduled vestry meeting as opposed to all of the not regularly scheduled vestry meetings we've had recently, which does not include today. Um, <clears throat> I guess the uh, update on the priest search situation would be that there are a couple of points. <clears throat> There's been activity, but there hasn't been accomplishment or action or uh, anything like that. So if there is something that takes place, I will let everybody know that. <clears throat> and uh, well, by the way, uh, just one note, I think you could call the theme of today's gospel reading, Jesus in a bad mood. So at any rate, let us uh, worship God together beginning with in 427. God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching that we may be made a holy people acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahola, a prophet in your place. So we set out from there and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, who was with flour. There were twelve yoke of oxen ahead of him, and he was with the twelve. Elijah passed by him and threw his mantle over him. He left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. Then Elijah said to him, Go back again, for what I have done to you. 
You turn from following him, took the yoke of oxen, and slaughtered them. Using the equipment from the oxen, he boiled their flesh and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he set out and followed Elijah and became his servant. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The psalm is Psalm 16. We will read it together, beginning and ending with the response. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. And I said to the Lord, You are my Lord, and my good is all forgiven. All my delight is upon the ground of the dead. to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second reading is from Galatians chapter 5. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. For you are called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, and enmities, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In 440. <laughs>
gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When the days drew near for Jesus to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command them to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them. Then they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. To another, he said, follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> let us pray. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He is spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nation, and the world. We pray fervently as we watch war continue in the Ukraine. We pray for the families and victims of a mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. We ask for your grace and peace to rule in the hearts and minds of all involved. For all who are justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation and for others, we especially pray for Joe, Mary, Oglin, Matthew, Bay, Scott, Steve, Peggy, Bill, Bob, Abby, Catherine, Carolyn, David, Wes, Betty, Rich, Doris, Linda, Naomi, June, and Evan. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. 
almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In 414. Thank you. 